feeling that was going to happen. Come on in. Welcome back in. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll have to delete that one. Sorry about that, guys. So sorry. I was even on time and everything. Oh my goodness. All right. So now I have to get out of this one because it's gone. So bear with me. I want to make sure I'm looking at you guys because um, Facebook has the uncanny knack of picking the most inopportune second to take a picture of me where I look absolutely ridic ridiculous and it freezes um, on there to let you know that there's a video. So I'm going to look at you guys for a few more minutes. But anyway, welcome back into the craft room. Sorry about that little glitch, little technical difficulty. Uh, hopefully we're good now um, because I hope that I won't be freezing up. So let me just get out of this one. And uh, luckily I had not posted anything yet. I'll just have to repost on this one all of the information because there was a link on the last video that I had set up there for the transfer that we're going to be using today. So I'll have to go back after we finish up. Oh, and I got to flip around guys. Hold on. I'm backwards. See, I do all this stuff before I come on with you guys. I do so many things. There we go. And now none of it is happening. So let's see if I can do this. If it'll let me manage my link. Recently added. Are you guys there? Hello, hello. I'm gonna add that there. No, let's see. Hang on. Oh, are you guys with me? I am so sorry, y'all. I I usually do every bit of this before I come on here with you. All right. So if you would like to be notified before um, I come on, because I know Facebook is not always friendly with giving out notifications, um, I do have a free Telegram channel that I just applied a link to. It's supposed to be on here featured and it's saying zero featured. So I don't know if it is or not, but um, just message me if you would like that or actually put in comments and I'll be glad to send you that free link. It's also in my bio. And I am going to see if I am live. So hang on with me. Yes, I am live again. <sighs> okay, like I said, it's a Tuesday that feels like a Monday. Okay, it says I'm live, but I see nothing. So am I there, guys? Say hi if you are catching me live. It is 6.05 on Tuesday, January the 17th. And it says that I'm live, but I don't see myself. I don't see anything. I'm going to go out and I'm going to come back in. So hang on, guys. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> How's everybody doing? There we go. Okay. There I am. Now I see it. Woohoo. Okay. Hit that heart button when y'all hop in. And make sure you say hi. Even if you're catching me on the replay, I would love it if you'd say hi. I am real quick going to. Um, copy some links for in the description. I'm going to put it in the comments. Links to anything that you might be interested in checking out. Uh, just trying to make it a little easier for you guys. Um, and be sure to check out my Square store too. I have that listed in the comments. That's my finished product store. Uh, and I have been uploading some Valentine's item in there, items in there and a few winter things you might be interested in purchasing. Um, so, okay, let me pin this and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. This project's going to be super quick and super cute. <laughs> so, um, I think we're good. All right, guys. Okay, we're ready now. So, my name is Susan. This is Revive DIY and Upcycle Designs. I love to come on and share different project ideas with you, creative ideas. Um, sometimes we use surfaces that I sell in my online shop. Sometimes we just use fun surfaces that I find elsewhere because I love to upcycle, refresh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I love to do that. So when I find something, if it's either like a, a blank slate and ready for me to do something to it because it's, um, it's plain, I love to do that and add a little bit more character to um, things that I find, whether it's at a thrift store or a regular store or... Uh, dollar store you know I like to do all that and sometimes I find items that I just want to tweak and then sometimes um, they're just a blank slate like tonight so tonight we are using a blank slate that I found at literally it's almost like a slate if it's a little pun a little play on words I guess uh, back in the day they were called slates right so basically it's a little chalkboard look at this cute little chalkboard guys it's a chalkboard with easel and I'm gonna show you look how cheap that was okay 
I don't even think I got it on sale. I think it was just that price because I was willing to pay that price. And it came in lots of colors. Is this not adorable? Now, you may be saying, but Susan, I've never seen that at Hobby Lobby. Well, did you check in the party section? Because that's where these are. And they have several different colors. I know they had white. I'm pretty sure they had blue. I cannot remember if they had any other colors. I just happened to grab this pink one because I thought, oh, I need a pink one probably for Valentine's coming up. So I had gotten this back when it was Christmas time. So um, it's I think they're there year round. I don't even know if they go on sale. But it's cheap enough at $4, um, so you might want to grab yourself one because you can just change these out, and they're super cute. I love the shape of it. I just thought the shape was so pretty. It's already painted this beautiful pink. Uh, that's almost like the same color as our peony, the color that we have that's called peony. Um, and then, of course, it's a chalkboard, so you can change it out, and it's a little easel, so you can just prop it up wherever you want. So obviously this would be perfect for a party. It would be perfect for, like I said, any day. You pick which color you wanted. Um, you could even paint this, but why? They had other ones there, but other colors. I know they did. Um, I'm going to use this one, you know, sort of for Valentine's Day, but really the transfer that I'm going to show you guys tonight is one that's still available in my shop. Um, and I did include the link in the last post, so I will include that after I get off. I'll add that. Okay, guys? Um, but it is one that could be used for, it doesn't have to just be Valentine's. When I bought it, it wasn't even for Valentine's Day. It was just one of those, oh, I think I need that. I loved the detail on it, and I loved the words, the saying, and it just works for Valentine's Day or year-round because this works for anybody that you love. So let me take it out of this, this plastic um, protective sleeve so you guys can actually read it because I think it's fabulous and like I said this could be used for anything you know not everybody wants to do Valentine's not everybody wants to do if I can get it out not everybody wants to do um, decorate for Valentine's not everyone wants to have a Valentine you know maybe you just ignore that holiday altogether and that's fine why is this stuck I never had one stuck before there's something sticky on the inside. Okay, so let me get it out. But what it says is, I can't say I love you enough. Look how pretty that is. I just loved that detail. I love Paisley. I love any of the um, designs that almost have that Middle Eastern. I don't know. I just love that. Isn't that gorgeous? So we are going to put this on this cute little chalkboard. Okay? So super easy, super quick. Let's get going. I have supper I have to make for everybody because, you know, all those groceries that I went and bought, I'm actually going to make something from them. And not like, are you guys, do you guys do that? Go to the grocery store and you're so sick of looking at food that you just decide, um, you know what, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna order something out. Or you feel like you spent so much of your life at the grocery store that you didn't feel like cooking. So that's, that happens a lot. But uh, I am going to bite the bullet. I got something easy, an easy soup that I'm just going to do. Now, with my transfers, this is brand new. I always mark the front of it, and then I write something on the back. So I always know where the front and back is of the backer sheet and the front of the transfer. Because when I go to wash it, these are reusable silk screen transfers, you guys. Hey, Miss Carrie, I hope you had a good birthday recently. Thanks for joining me. Um, these are reusable silk screen transfers, you guys. They can be used 8 to 12 times. So we just wash them in the sink with cool water, set them out to dry, and put them back on our little backer sheet back here. So, um... I am just going to mark on the back because you always want to make sure you put it on the right side of the backer sheet. There's a flat side and then there's a glossy side, so you always want to make sure. Now, um, I don't really need to do anything to my chalkboard other than take off this little sticker. I don't really need to do anything to it to prepare it, although I will just take my little baby wipe that I keep beside me for my fingers and wipe it because I don't know. There's dust on it right now, but there might be fingers, uh, like finger oil or who knows what. So I'm just going to wipe that real quick, and then I am going to get a lint-free cloth. And hopefully this one does, does not have. Let's see if I can find one that doesn't have wax on it. And then um, this is just a little microfiber cloth, and I'm just going to dry it. So I just want to make sure. I don't need to wax it. I'm just making sure it's clean, y'all. That's all. So how was your Monday, Tuesday, you guys? I swear it was a Monday, Tuesday. How was yours? <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Oh, you crafted all weekend. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a perfect birthday to me. That sounds like a per perfect birthday. Maybe I need to do that this year. Hmm. Good idea. Thanks for sharing. I hope you had some lovely stuff. You made some fun things. Um, 
All right. So, and had some goodies too, I hope. I hope you had some really goodies. Maybe a good, maybe you like cake, maybe you like pie, maybe you like ice cream, whatever it is that you love. I hope you got to have it. Maybe you like chocolate covered cherry or um, strawberries. I don't know. Okay, guys. So, like I said, these are reusable. This is our smallest size transfer um, that comes in, a, in as far as on a full sheet. It's an A size transfer. Um, so, I'm just going to take it off the backer sheet. As I mentioned, that size glossy, see? So, that's why I mark it. And I, it's sticky, and I want it to be sticky because that's what helps uh, get such a great image. Between that and the silk screen and then our chalk paste, that is what makes us have these fabulous designs um, and, and details that would be so hard to get otherwise. Do you see all those details? So I do want it to be sticky and adhere to my surface, but not so sticky that it tries to pull it or stretch it when I go to pull it off. So I do what we call fuzzing. And all that is, is I use my little fuzzing cloth and add just a tiny bit of fuzz to it. And I think I'm just gonna fuzz it twice. This one doesn't feel like mega sticky. So I'm just gonna fuzz it twice. I'll flip my little surface around and place this on here. And you guys, I'm not even sure if we'll embellish it at all because it is so cute on its own. If I can find maybe some little flowers or something, maybe I will. But I did not search because I just didn't have time, to be honest with you. I wanted to get on here and get this done. I wanted to make sure I had a chance to do this. I didn't want to miss out on my opportunity. So um, I just got to eyeball this because you know that's how I do. And try to kind of place it. So this is the longest part of the whole process. For me anyway. For some people, maybe not. But for me. It's the longest part of the whole process. I still don't feel like that's in the middle. I still don't feel like it's in the middle, so hang on. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to get it straight across the bottom and kind of the design in the middle. And not up too high, not up too, not down too low. You know, I could have very easily made a mark on here and found the middle of the board, but no, that would be too easy. All right, let's try it from this angle and see if I do any better. I don't feel like I'm getting it exactly where it needs to be. Sometimes you just need to look at things from a different perspective. Am I right? Am I right, guys? I don't know why I'm so challenged with this every time. So, I hope you guys had a long weekend, and I hope you enjoyed your long weekend. Okay, so that looks, oh my gosh, maybe this surface isn't exactly like straight. Um, I hope you had a long weekend, and then I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, guys, give me a sec. I'm going to do it this way so I can see it better. Sliding around where I don't want it, and then we're just gonna place it and go for it. That I believe it's like the top. I, I'm not sure my shape is like exactly. Uh, what do you call it? Symmetrical, maybe? Is that the right word I want? I think we're just going to place it and go this time. Once I have it placed, I'm just going to press it down. Make sure I don't have any bubbles. If it's not straight when I get all done and it's like obviously not straight, does that look straight to you guys? Does that look straight? It still looks like it's a little crooked to me. Is it me or is it the design? I feel like it's a little high over here. Um, if it was like really glaringly obvious, then I would just clean it off and do it again. But I think it's the transfer and the shape. I think it's, it's not, I need to not focus on the edges of the transfer. I just need to look at the, the shape, the design.
looks about straight, don't you think, guys? Okay. So the colors we're going to use, because I'm, I've got this pink, but you know, I've told you guys before, I have a lot of teal in my home, so I am actually going to do a couple things. Number one, I'm going to get a couple different squeegees. That's the tools we use to apply our chalk paste. Now, on the link that I'm going to put on here later, it does not have um, any chalk paste attached to it or a squeegee or a surface because I want you guys to be able to pick your own but I will attach the transfer for you um, so you know which transfer I used. We do have a surface that this works fabulously on and it's the one that I did the hibernate uh, our white board and base or our, our black chalkboard board and base. Those are great for these types of transfers as well. Or if you want to find your own cutie pie like this, then you can do that. Um, and you will need a squeegee to apply your chalk paste. And um, like I said, if I find some flowers or something, I don't know because I really love this and I don't want to take away from it. So I may not, I may not do anything else up here. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I still feel like that's too low, y'all. Oh my gosh! I should have just measured it. Should have just measured it. Um, anyway, I did get most of my house decorated so this weekend, which is good. I think I got it all. I don't now. I will say that my whole daughter's whole room is full of all the Christmas stuff because I haven't put any of it away. I just got it all gathered up and out of downstairs. So I have a mess at some point that I need to pack up and sort, and that's the part I hate. But I got my winter decor all out, except for a piece here or there. I did not put my Valentine out yet. I will wait until a little bit closer to Valentine's Day to put out my Valentine decor. But there we go. We're going to work with that. Let's go for it. So the colors I've chosen are, I told you guys I have teal in my home. So we're going to go with this light teal the beautiful couture teal this is our signature color and guess what other color i'm going to use i am going to use shimmer rose gold isn't that pretty so we're going to bring out some of the pink that's in the frame and then i feel like i need shimmer with my teal because i want the teal but i want this to really stand out and you know me with shimmer we're going to turn a little bit of this into some shimmer because you guys know i love my shimmer so the way I'm going to do that is, I've told you this before as well, if you've ever, if you followed me. This is Shimmer Frost, my very favorite color we offer because I'm not a white person. I don't like, I am a white person, but I don't like, and my last name's even white, but I just don't like white as a color generally to create with. But because it says shimmer in it, I love it. And I can add this to any color I have and it will make it, turn it into a shimmer. So even if we don't offer it, like, we don't offer a shimmer teal. Why? Why? Why chalk couture? We need a shimmer teal. But I will tell you, I can create my own. So what I'm going to do is take both of these chalk paste, and I'm going to take just a little bit from each one. So not much, because I'm not even going to need that much. A little bit of chalk goes a long way. So see how much I have? That may even be too much. So we're going to start with that. I just want to add a tiny bit of shimmer to my project and then I'm going to take my teal and my little these are called stir sticks we sell these in like a 24 pack and um, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that as well because I don't want to waste my chalk I don't know about y'all but I don't like wasting my chalk so look how much I have very little and I am just going to mix them together So I know it's Taco Tuesday, but like I said, it feels like Monday. And I took a poll, and my my uh, hubby is the only one who replied, and he said he'd rather have soup. So we're not gonna. I'm not making taco soup. I did that a couple weeks ago when my daughter was home. I made a big batch of taco soup, and everybody loved it. It's so yummy. But uh, I just decided I was gonna make some soup tonight, and it's it's a a partially homemade, you guys. It's not a made from scratch one. Last time when I did the taco soup it was but they didn't want taco stuff tonight I had a meal that was a taco meal and I said hey this is what I'm thinking this or soup and hubby's been working all day long on the phone and 
inside here in the office in the house and you know how days are like that when it's cold and rainy out like and it's and you don't leave the home you like stay cold so I think that's probably why he's feeling the, feeling that so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all of this can't say I love you enough um, in the shimmer teal and then I'm gonna do or do I want to do that part maybe I'll do the shimmer rose gold for the middle part and I'll do this and this since it's so close to the pink I'll do that in the teal so I may need some more that may not be enough that may not be enough I don't know hmm that may not be enough y'all might need a little bit more I have to grab don't put your dirty ones back in your um, in your jar though I'm gonna grab a little tiny bit more because if I'm gonna do both of those Grab a tiny bit more. I just want to be sure. I don't want to waste, but I don't want to not have enough either. And let's see, that has got teal on it, so. Super easy, guys. Super easy. Just a tiny bit. I don't even think I need that much. Depends on how much shimmer you want in there, really. Just depends on how much shimmer you want. Use that one. I don't want to waste any of the shimmer. So, this one I think I can put up. And then let's see. I just have both of the colors there. You see? And I'm just going to mix them together. And we're going to make a shimmery teal. Because I can. That's the fun part about this. You get to choose your own colors and decor. Let me know in comments if you think I should embellish this, embellish this at all or whether I should just stick with the colors that I, just with the colors, make it fabulous. Okay, so I am going to use one of my, this is a small squeegee cut in half. So in case you're wondering, um, because I like all the different sized options and I am just going to apply my chalk paste directly to my little design oh it's so pretty I can tell already and a little goes a long way you guys I just wanted to be sure so um what did you guys do with your day if you had the day off yesterday what'd you do hobby and I were gonna go return Something he got for Christmas that I gave him for Christmas that didn't quite fit properly. And uh, couldn't find the receipt. I thought it was on my phone and couldn't find it. So guess what? We couldn't do that. And they didn't have anything for him to choose. That particular store we went to, we went to Belk. Um, they have really good sales. But that particular one we went to, we have about three that I can access pretty easily within 25 minutes probably, 25 to 30 minutes. And um, it did not, the one we went to did not have hardly any men's stuff left. Cause they always have really good sales, you guys. If you have a Belk, I don't know if everybody has Belks. If you have a Belk, it's a department store like Macy's. But so that was a bust, but we had not had our date night in probably at least a week, I think, maybe more. I'm trying to remember, because I know we went for a while over the holidays and didn't get one. Oh, now I have too much, y'all. I said, okay. Um, I'm gonna do the top and the bottom, because this has a little bit of shimmer in it, and the shimmer takes a few more minutes to dry, because normally this would dry pretty quickly, and I would say, make sure you paste and peel, y'all. So you don't want it to dry in your silk screen. That's how you release it to your surface. But we went and grabbed something to eat and had our date night on Monday night instead of a weekend like we usually do. I just had too many things to do this weekend. Now, if you want to paste and peel to be sure that it does release onto your surface and not dry in your silk screen, then you would just do it like this when you have a section that's like this. You just pull the bottom up. Do you see that fabulousness? 
Do you see it? So you pull the bottom up and then lay it back down. Don't press it down, just lay it down. And then just press the area right next to it. Then I just got some blue on. It's okay, it's okay, Riddle. It's okay. And then go to the top. Oh my goodness, I can't get it. Okay. And then go to the top and do the same thing. I start at the side and then I try to work my way into the middle. So I don't stretch my transfer. Oh my gosh, I knew I would love this pattern, y'all. Look how pretty that is and how well that shows up. Fabulous, right? And then I just let it lay back. It can fall down if it wants, but I don't need it to touch back on there because I've just released the chalk paste to the surface. So now I'm gonna take my shimmer rolls, rose gold. Is that not beautiful? I love it. My shirt's about that shade. Wouldn't have thought about that, but. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do my middle section. So this is just basically wet chalk. Now I'm using the kind with shimmer in it. Um, it's wet chalk, so it goes on wet and it dries hard to the touch. And about five, depending on the chalk paste, if it's shimmer, might be about seven or eight minutes, but usually about five minutes or less. It dries hard to the touch and then it's on there. Now with it being a chalkboard surface, at any time I want, I can take this off. Now it won't just come off if I dust it or try to wipe it. But if I spray water on here and I scrape it off, um, then I have a brand, I have a, a clean slate basically to be able to do another project on. So let's say I had a little, I had a girl's birthday or something. I don't. I only have one daughter and she doesn't, she's not a huge fan of pink, so that wouldn't work. But look, or if I had a baby shower or something like that, I could easily. But like I said, these were cheap enough, you guys, that you could get one of these in every color. I showed tremendous self-restraint because I think I got a bunch of Christmas stuff that day. <laughs> All right, so here we go. That's what it looks like so far. Are we ready? Final step, peel and reveal. Look at that. Is that not fabulous? Now, I know the rose gold is a little bit different than mine, you know, the pink here, but I just wanted to kind of bring a little touch of it. I could have tried to match it. I could have taken my peony that I told you it's about this color because um, peony is about the color of uh, bubblegum. And I could have added a little bit of shim uh, shimmer frost to that just like I did the teal. Let's see if you can see any of the shimmer. Can you guys see any of the shimmer? I don't know if you can see it or not. Sometimes it's hard to pick up on camera. But I could have made that into a shimmer as well and instead, but I had that rose gold and I thought it would be great. Now this, I'll just take to the sink and wash it with um, cool water, and I actually use my board erasers, but you could use a soft sponge, your hand, something to get all of the silk screen area clean, let it dry, um, and then you would put it back on your backer sheet, and, and it'll be ready to use again. And as, well, as long as you take care of them, the company will guarantee 8 to 12 times to be able to use them. So you can make them for multiple gifts, you can make them for... Um, every year you could do it and take it off if you wanted to if you didn't like it have it around all the time so let me know if you think it needs anything else I feel like we've got all this beautiful detail here with the little scallop edges and then we have all this beautiful detail there too but tell me if you think it needs anything else I could even maybe wrap a ribbon around just around it no bow just a ribbon or I could try to see if I had some little flowers or something that's reminds me of this stuff going on here in the top pattern and I could kind of attach it to the frame a little bit in one little section maybe I don't know let me know in comments whether you think I should do that or not otherwise that's all I got for you guys I told you it would be short and sweet I think it took me longer to to center it on there than I did to do the whole project I hope you love this idea if you have any questions hey girl how are you Monica thanks for joining me it's all right girl don't worry about it don't worry about it I'm always happy when you join me um, even if it's only for a minute. Um, I hope you like this project idea. I will go back as soon as I get off and add all of the information from the other live that I was on for about a minute or two before it kicked me out um, so that you have the link to this transfer. Choose your own colors. Choose whatever colors. We have paste packets that are single colors. Isn't it adorable? Isn't it adorable? I love it. I love it. I've been waiting to do this for a while. I've had this transfer for a while. I just thought, well, I could do it for Valentine's. But I got it way back in 
the fall. November, I think, at least. So it will work year-round, guys. It doesn't have to be just a Valentine. So I know a lot of people are anti-Valentine, <laughs> so it's fine. You don't have to. Or even Galentine. It's okay. You don't have to. You can just do this. You have plenty. Of, hopefully, I hope and pray you have some people, at least one person in your life that you love enough. So this is your reminder. I can't say I love you enough, so this is your reminder. I can think of many, and I, that makes me feel very blessed. So I hope you are as well. All right, guys, any questions, feel free to ask in comments. Send me a message. Um, if you um, need anything else besides this or you need help figuring out how to make this project fabulous with your own surface, then just let me know. That's what I'm here for. Otherwise, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday night. And um, we'll see. Lord willing, I'll be, maybe I'll be able to come on tomorrow and share a project as well. I hope so. I have a lot to share with you guys. Um, so hopefully the little buddy will go back to school tomorrow. And as far as I know, I don't have to work tomorrow at the doctor's office. So maybe I'll get to come on here and play with you guys. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. And you are welcome, Monica. Don't forget to sprinkle. Thanks for sprinkling, Monica. You're always so faithful and I so appreciate it. All right, guys, you take care. And until I see you next, stay safe, stay healthy and be blessed. Bye, guys. See you soon.